This is not your average six-wheel hybrid behemoth car, if such a thing exists. This one has a surprise in the trunk. Have you ever wished you could carry your own personal flying machine in the trunk of your car? This land aircraft carrier from X-Pan Aero could be the answer. Because of their small size and how heavy batteries for electric vehicles can be, most personal EV tolls we see are pretty low range and require some kind of separate trailer to transport them to their takeoff point. That's where this six-wheel mothership comes in. Not only is it designed to transport a two-seat personal flying machine off-road to whatever scenic lookout you'd like to fly around, it can also act as a charger, so when you arrive at your destination, the EV toll battery is full and ready to fly. Xpan Aero's co-founder and vice president Wang Tan tells me the decision to make the mothership a hybrid vehicle was made to extend the range up to 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles. A full tank of gas and a full charge on the mothership can recharge the EV toll in the trunk up to six times. As far as safety goes, Xpan Aero says it's a top priority. Redundancy is built into everything from the flight system to the controls. Under some of the propellers are duct fans, which can keep the aircraft stable in case of an issue with the propellers. A joystick is the primary control mechanism, and a set of buttons right next to it performs much of the same functions as a backup. We couldn't sit inside the mothership this time, but X-Pan Aero did let us inside the EV toll module, which has already conducted manned test flights. As you can see, it's pretty cozy in here. I'm about five foot 11 and change, so I'm not hitting my head on the roof. I have enough room for my feet. Uh, it feels pretty good. If you're a few inches taller than me, you might be hitting your head. If I really stretch, I can hit the roof, but this thing has to be compact because it's got to fit in your trunk. I've personally never seen anything like this. The closest thing visually, I'd say, is the Cybertruck because of the light bar in the front and the overall shape and color. However, X-Pan Aero's modular flying car serves a very different purpose. Actually, I think this form follow the function. Why we have this design, I think uh, not just for who, I think it's more for the capability of this vehicle, for the extra weight of this EV tow, and it has the capability to go off-road. And secondary, we think about how to make it futuristic, like we bring it from the future. Despite its sci-fi design, X-Pan Aero says this is not a concept car. They're planning to mass produce it. They're working on getting regulatory approval in China, already have over 3,000 intent orders, and expect to start delivery in 2026. The company says the modular flying car will be available first in China for under $300,000, with hopes to expand to other markets in the future. What do you think of the X-Pan Aero land aircraft carrier? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to CNET for the latest and greatest tech news. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take off. <laughs>